It's Fuck Yeah Friday. Fuck you. Yeah. Get ready for some wins. Welcome to the Be It Till You See It podcast, where we talk about taking messy action, knowing that perfect is boring. I'm Lessa Logan, Pilates instructor and fitness business coach. I've trained thousands of people around the world, and the number one thing I see stopping people from achieving anything is self-doubt. My friends, action brings clarity, and it's the antidote to fear. Each week, my guests will bring bold, executable, intrinsic, and targeted steps that you can use to put yourself first and be it till you see it. It's a practice, not a perfect. Let's get started. Hello, be it, babe. How are you? Happy Friday. So today I'm actually in Connecticut in an incredible room, which I'll talk about with you in just a moment when I get to my wins. But first, I'm going to celebrate your wins. But in case this is your first time in the Be A Pod, the reason I do this short episode every single Friday is not as a brag sesh. It is a way for us all to take a moment to see that if you are having a down day, you can hear other people's wins and realize like there is room for you. There's no abundance pie that like every person gets a slice and yours, you get the leftovers. We are actually all surrounded by things we have been able to do that are wins and shit that's not going well. But if we only focus on the shit, then guess what? You feel like you're just a bunch of shit. If you focus on where you're winning, you can actually see that there's a possibility, a path forward for you. And when you see other people having wins, it really does affect you in the most amazing, amazing, amazing way. Because if you can celebrate their wins, you are creating space for your own as well. You know, it's. It's not the cliche of like just women supporting women. It's like, holy fuck, that's a win for them. I had that win yesterday. Like sometimes we don't see our own wins until we see it in someone else. So that's why we do these. So I share our wins of yours and a win of mine. And then we have an affirmation. So Ainsley Walker, I'm getting lots of great mat work practice and with different Elevate members and having fun exploring each move and geeking out. It's wonderful. Really starting to question my time, how and what I do with it. Wanting to explore this more, meaning my own needs of what that means. I have another head cold, second one this month, but only the second in two years. Rather than battle through, I canceled my clients this morning to take the pressure off so I can still go and meet two friends and polite people in London later. It was such a win was I didn't procrastinate over should I, shouldn't I? I just knew I needed a chilled morning so I could show up for my classes tomorrow. Made an appointment to see a nutritionist who is also an Elevate member. Being clear with people and clients this week, adhering to my boundaries with both personally and professionally and sign up for the local village frere again this year. This time we'll write down all the steps needed to prep for and gather help. Excited for the lighter, longer days. So do you hear how many wins she had in there? She was able to celebrate a win in a head cold <laughs> and also really evaluating her time. That is a win. I know I'm, I'm guilty of this where like, I'm like, oh my God, I'm wasting some time or I don't like how I'm spending this time. And then we get hard on herself instead of going, what a win. I am thinking about how I want to spend my time better. So, so proud of you, Ainsley. Way to go. You've been in um, agency for a while and I love having you elevate. I know that other elevators are loving it too. Okay. Stacy extends. She's an agency member. We've known her for many, many years, even before she was a Pius teacher. And I love seeing her name in the wins uh, section. So here we go. I am making steps towards having a Joe's gym class. I am teaching a mother-daughter duet. Mother is an intro system and daughter's a more advanced practitioner, but 33 weeks pregnant. So I'm teaching them at the same time, but on different equipment and at different capacities. I've been learning a lot about teaching someone who's pregnant each week, watching classes about prenatal and postnatal clients. After the first lesson last week, I learned that I can vocalize multiple exercises to the daughter so that she's moving more and not doing too many reps of one exercise. The second lesson, which happened last night, was so much better with that slight adjustment. They booked their next lesson with me, and I'm thrilled with this chance to help them further their Pilates journey. I'm also thrilled that I'm there helping me on my teaching journey. That's right, Stacy. For those of you who don't know what Joe's Gym is, it's basically just an open type of Pilates class. We teach this a lot and for agency members. Um, it's something I teach my elevate members to do because it actually is a great way. It's a great skill set to have as a teacher. You can actually help couples or friends who are at different levels or needs in their life at the same time without having dozens of the same piece of equipment. Last one is Allie. Um, she's an agency member. I realized that I had a target monthly earnings goal. And whilst I haven't made it consistently, I miss celebrating the month when I earned it. The win here is twofold. One, to celebrate. Two, I've now caught up with my accounting and there's an automated report in zero. So I can see at a glance, the numbers going to track this next step is usage report. Congratulations, Ali. Oh my gosh. Congratulations. This is so important. You guys one, I love this. I had a highlight. So it's because 
she didn't celebrate it when it happened. So even though it didn't happen this much, she celebrated when it did happen, like way to go. And also gosh, the more you can know your numbers loves, the better it is. And so there is a sales number, which is what most people focus on, but usage is so important. And we'll talk about this inside of agency. And so, cause usage is actually how, you know, you have sales coming. And if people are always like, I have to have a membership to have automated income. No, you don't. No, you don't. I had automated income without ever having a membership for my clients. And there's so many reasons why I wouldn't let people have a membership for brick and mortar. All right. A win of mine. So this is an interesting win because it's happening as we speak. As I like talk to you, I'm putting myself in this room with a bunch of other business owners. And the purpose of this, uh, this particular room that we, we put ourselves in is to really take our business to another level that we've achieved most of the goals that we've had for ourselves maybe not in the timeline that we wanted, but we have this bigger goal of ourselves. And I'll share that goal with you later on down the road. I'm not going to share with you now, but just know that this particular goal is requiring Brad and I to become an elevated version of ourselves. And we are truly being until we see it as we are doing this. So we're putting this ourselves in this room that is scary because it's, it's interesting to think about something that both you want and holy fucking moly, how am I going to get there? Like, it's one of those, like, who am I to fucking have this goal? And it also sometimes can be intimidating because sometimes I'm like, but I'm just a supplies instructor, you know, and I have to remind myself that I'm not just anything. And in this room, while I may be the supplies instructor and I may not know the answers to the questions I'm asking, I actually know a ton about the answers to the questions that they're asking. And I have both the pros and cons of everything we've done that I love to share with their agents members. I'm putting myself in this room where I'm like, I might be the weird one. (laughs) I might be the weird one, but also like I'm going to benefit from this space and get the answers to my questions and people benefit from me being in that space too, because I can provide my gifts. And so this is one of those wins where I'm celebrating the act of doing something really, really scary. And it doesn't, it's not actually finished yet. This particular be it till you see it moment is going to be years long. Um, hopefully not years long, but years long. And it's, it's really challenging to become a different leader, a different boss, a different teacher, a different friend, a different wife, a different coworker, like all of these things and making changes like that in a business and in your life are hard, (laughs) so hard, but I'm super excited to make them. And I'm super excited to be in this room. And I can't wait to share with you what I've learned as I'm able to. So, um, how's that for a win? Is that a fun win? (laughs) Again, here to share with you, like wins are not, I made $11,000 in one post on social media, which by the way, is probably like not even true. Okay. So, all right. The affirmation for us to repeat, my weirdness is wonderful. My weirdness is wonderful. My weirdness is wonderful. My dear, your weirdness is wonderful. My weirdness is wonderful. We are all freaking, we are like weird in the best ways. And so may you be weird. May you celebrate your wins. Send them into us so we can share them on the be a pod. And until next time, be it till you see it. That's all I got for this episode of the be it till you see it podcast. One thing that would help both myself and future listeners is for you to rate the show and leave a review and follow or subscribe for free wherever you listen to your podcast. Also make sure to introduce yourself over at the be it pod on Instagram. I would love to know more about you. Share this episode with whoever you think needs to hear it. Help us and others be it till you see it. Have an awesome day. Be It Till You See It is a production of the Bloom Podcast Network. If you want to leave us a message or a question that we might read on another episode, you can text us at plus one three one zero nine zero five 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 three four or send a DM on Instagram at be it pod. It's written, filmed, and recorded by your hosts, Leslie Logan and me, Brad Crowell. It is transcribed, produced, and edited by the Epic team at Desenio.co. Our theme music is by Ali at Apex Production Music, and our branding by designer and artist Gianfranco Chofi. Special thanks to Melissa Solomon for creating our visuals. Also to Angelina Herico for adding all of our content to our website. And finally, to Meredith Root for keeping us all on point and on time.